by Jerome Wright here once again and um, again you're joining me on my Jerome Wright channel alright um, in this video I'm back to Renaissance artist paintings and um, this is a painting that I have for some time I actually it didn't detail the artist but it's a very popular image I guess if you Google Renaissance art you have run across it and all some of us have probably already seen it alright but this is something that I have had in my archive collection and I um just now getting back around to bringing it back up and all okay um, to make a video all right again this is bizarre and unusual you have a clergy official standing here larger than life you have a bunch of people seeming into going down into either Haiti or bliss somewhere you know what I mean and um you have um, this oddly shaped mountain back here where you have a bunch of people marching around it in a spiraling position where they're going up the top like if they're on a march on it on the end of victory march to heaven and then you have this figure here holding the word the book open and as if he's saying this is the word if not if you're going to follow my word if not this is what's going to happen to you here okay um i just want to come in closer and show you that in the back of that mountain back there you see that see those guys marching around that mountain in the back there's a close-up of that all right first of all this is all about genetic bridging and about that of genetic bridging over ape and african genes and um the fathering of those genes throughout um, um the egyptian bloodlines the Asian bloodlines and then finally European Caucasians and so forth and so with this is what this is all about um, down here if you look down here this is a, a woman of color an African woman I mean she has the hair the butt the breast down to the auroras around the breast and nipples I mean everything this is a woman of color and she's depicted as a demonic like creature with horns as is over here okay I'm gonna bring that in and show you I'm going to bring that in closer to show you exactly what's being described here. Uh, you see that you see that the woman, the woman of color holding the flags. I mean, people, the butt, the breasts and all. This is in a Renaissance era. Now, here's the other. Let me bring it in so I can hit it with my pencil. This is one here holding the flag. I mean, from the breast, the butt, everything. The hair. Everything. Look at it. Now, and then you have another one here, right there. All about genes and genetic altering of the ape and African ancestor. That's what this is all about. You see that? People, this is a Renaissance era, and you're talking about these paintings being made in 13th, 14th, 15th, and forward paintings. This information is not supposed to be here. Artists describing this. Now let's go back here to what was this mountain. Why is this mountain shaped like this? Well, that mountain is shaped like that because you know what that is? You know what that mountain is? Is this artist is capturing describing? And there's a um a um an angelic like figure with black wings with red going on them. If you look here in the gate, there's also a gated a castle there. You see that? That that piece of a castle on that mountain. You see that? You know what this is representing, people? This is a Popol's Tierra. That's what that is. A Popol's Tierra. These colors here are describing the cardinals and the bishops. This female figure with black wings is representing that of a an African a female African nun a virgin and you know what this is all describing these naked people dancing around this tiara genetic bridging and it's not just with religion it's also ancient rooted royalty this is why this gated castle gate is here and inside of that castle gate is a face of a royal figure and what is this royal figure doing well you'll see this royal figure the nose the eye the mouth is at the wingtip of this black 
nun figure, which I'm telling you and describing you, which represents ape and African genes, virgin, the wing, the tip of the wing is at the mouth of this encrypted face, which is in the castle gate, right there. So my rant is that ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty are genetically altering mankind's being and the altering is taking place over that of apes and Africans um, of origins of genes and this is where we get our Caucasians from which came after Asians so and it's all being described on how it's being done gene bridging manipulation and extraction and this is what this is describing now shows the falling of one umpire empire and then going on to the next this is why you have this figure larger than life now this figure now larger than life you know what it is? i seen it actually that there also is referenced in a lot in um, the lost book of nostradamus how you have these giant figures towering over um um, civilizations of, of people or, 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 or um, descriptions of civilization of people and this figure is towering. You know what his figure is towering? Because it's saying that genetically he's overpowering those of his rivals, his genetic rivals. This is what this is actually stating. Now this figure is standing here now because everything I just described back here, this cauldron like cocktail of genetic manipulation and, and creation, this person now is coveted in all of that. And this all the colors that I did just described back here are now within this person is, is captured in his clothing and it's shown by this this black the way his collar is created like a black um, vial or um um or like an urn or almost like the you ever see the the the, um, the witch's potion that black um um, potion that she gives them to the the, the the vial that they give it in these insignias are referencing how they now have control over the black gene the African gene they are they have it under control genetically and this is what this is all describing now I'm gonna I'm gonna go on now you see my highlights here so you know I'm going to bring my highlights in now this is all about the penile gland what penile gland are we talking about that of the ape and african ancestor so basically all you have to do is turn this upward like this here oh hold on wrong way people wrong way and wrong way where we at here okay and i'm gonna come in let me come in closer for you i'll come in closer like that you see what this says here this broken castle this ruins where are we at the ruins of this castle it actually creates a dick a penis the shaft of a penis it even has stops here where I draw that line this is the foreskin right there now I'm gonna show you without me without my um, my um, which comes on there my um, my edits creates the face of a monkey the hair and all look I put the eye in there but the eye socket is already there, the, the eyebrow, the head, even the, 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 the rocks create the hair likenesses of the monkey. Here's the top nose area and then the jaw comes all the way around and comes here. The mouth is open. If you were to close that mouth up, that bottom piece of the jaw to the top, you see the monkey, but the mouth is split open because you know what it's showing you? A dick. A royal dick shoved into the mouth of that monkey figure and that monkey figure is a representation of African beings and that's why these African women are down here shown as devils. Genes. Description of genes being described. Now I'm going to take that picture and turn it around because I don't have much time. And I'm going to show you here in this picture in the unedited version. You see that? Everything I just described to you. A hairy faced monkey. Look like a shaggy dog here though. It looks like one of them shaggy dog figures. There's the eyebrow area, the forehead, the, the V for the cut for the eye, the nose, the open mouth. Here's the bottom jaw 
and that castle creates the jet dick. You know what that creates? This is a cauldron a cocktail. They could this is no less than if, if it was a hypodermic needle showing injecting DNA into a continent of people. They show it through the penile gland, which represents the reproduction system of mankind's being. And this is what our ancients always did. It's just that they turned it into art form, encrypted and coded art form. And look, even here, people, see where the castle actually breaks open and creates that foreskin area? This would be the head right there. This is what this is all about. Now, what do this looks like today in modern art? Here's a artist, seemingly before his time. This is a um, this is um, um, this the, the title of this painting is um, "Diving Into the Temptation of Saint Anthony and the Garden of Earthly Desires" by Harmonius Bosch. Harmonius Bosch, and he lived from 1450 to 14, I mean to 1516. All right. Um, I wonder if I can get this by holding this up. What, how many minutes here? I gotta make this quick. Here, Harmonious Bonds is saying a similar thing pretty much in the painting that I actually just showed you. I gotta hurry up because I only got a few minutes going here. Here you have a Caucasian figure shown, body broken, and you have to ask yourself, what in the hell is going on here? This is like a surreal artist style comparable to before then this was before surrealist artists were actually up um actually i only have a few minutes so i'm gonna make this real quick i'm gonna break this off you're probably gonna be mad at me but it gives this man a head on the body of an egg do you know do you know what the egg represents the egg represents cells gene cells stem cells that's what this is a representation of it's about genetic manipulation of over that of our ape and African ancestor. So you have a bunch of people. You know what these are? Genes in motion. This is why you see the knives. You know what the knives represents? Splicing. These are branching off. This, this murky water down here. You know what this is a representation of? Blackness. Black genes that these people are describing how they bridged over these black genes. And this, you see this back here? This murky water that they're, that they're waddling in it. This represents black genes. A, a tough gene to overcome. And artists in that era are all describing how they knew through their knowledge how it was done. And that's what these paintings are referencing. So now we have this being up here with arms off of an egg and on into the boats, two boats that's navigating through this murky black water. You have an egg. It's telling you, describing which genes assisted in, in creating a change in the era at this time that this artist is describing. This egg is showing you here, if you don't see it, there's an encrypted head of like a mallard duck here describing this as being an egg and then inside at this table you have three versions of color African women showing you that their blood was altered now you see a mallard duck here but I see the 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 evolutionary uh, genes of that of our dinosaur from which this creature have actually evolved. These are describing ancient genetics that actually were introduced back into Africa to cause for change. And this person is describing what changes were made genetically. And these are gene splicing. All of our Renaissance artists are describing the same exact thing in their own way, some borrowing these encryption styles from the other. But for the most part, this is what is being described. How from black came white and how it was done. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end that video there. I'm running out of time. But all of our Renaissance era paintings, which involve religion, kingships and queenships, I don't care where it's at in this planet, arts like this can be described and looked at in the same way that I'm showing you here. And this is why these paintings are so unusual. 
My name is Jerome Wright. I'm ending this video here.